There are seven stakes races Saturday at Santa Anita, and right smack in the middle of the card is the $100,000 Crystal Water Stakes. It's race number seven, one mile on grass for California breads. This race is named after one of the top cowbreds of all time. Crystal Water won the 1977 Santa Anita Handicap. He won the Hollywood Gold Cup. He also won the Hollywood Derby and the Oak Tree Invitational, a top California bred. And much like the Franz Valentine, which was race number one on Saturday, it's nice to see these cow bred stakes races named after a good, solid horse of the past. A field of eight entered the Crystal Water, a mile on grass, and the pace should be legitimate. There's the field. It's a field of eight. Four of them are actually stretching out from sprints. Number two, Grinning Tiger. Number four, Brando the Bartender. Number five, Oliver. And number eight, Lieutenant Dan, all stretching out from sprints, along with number six, King Abner, who is a forwardly placed two-turn horse. Boy, the pace of this race should absolutely be legitimate. And you know what? That's going to be just fine for a horse that I think is going to be very tough to beat. He's a graded stakes winner, returning from a layoff in a California bred stakes race, and I'm referring to number three, Prince Earl. Prince Earl has raced fresh three times. His career debut, twice coming back off extended layoffs. How is he fresh? He's only three for three including a win last summer at Del Mar against a good field in the grade two Del Mar mile handicap. And as we take a look at the tape of this race, Prince Earl lags off the pace. He saves ground. He splits horses late and he inches clear to win by three quarters of a length over a good field that included graded stakes winners, Ohio, Bowie's hero, one of you and Bolo, an impressive victory by Prince Earl. When he delivered that performance last summer, I thought he might possibly be Breeders' Cup caliber. He kind of disappointed, but we know this about Prince Earl. He runs well fresh. He came back and finished third by a head. He ran nowhere in the Sea Biscuit, and we haven't seen him since November at Del Mar. But he is training forwardly. He runs well fresh. He's taken a massive class drop from graded stakes into a cowbred turf mile that should unfold perfectly for him. Okay, who's the sharpest now horse in the field? Well, it has to be number one, Kono. Kono kind of made his mark on the synthetic surface up at Golden Gate last time out. Last time out, let's take a look at the tape of an easy win by Kono, March 7th. And he was able to establish the lead. He was three to five, and he just cruised on home. Now, watching the tape of this race, it's not the type of performance that makes you say, wow, I can't wait to bet Kono back in a grass stakes race at Santa Anita off an easy trip win at Golden Gate. But what this race does is kind of illustrate at least the recent form of Kono. Now, the question is, can he run on grass? Because he started seven times on grass and he's only has a single, well, third place finish to show for it. Excuse me. 13 times on grass, two seconds and two thirds. But the last time he ran on grass in an important race was in January at Santa Anita. And it was at a distance, a mile and one eighth distance that was probably a little bit too far. And that was in the Turf Classic, January 18th at Santa Anita. Let's go ahead and take a look at the stretch run. And Kono, he actually loomed into the lane and he kind of lost his punch late. That's wound tight dominating the race. Ward and Jerry would rally past Kono late and finish second, and Kono stuck around and finished third. He improved since then. <clears throat> We're showing the stretch run of this race for a couple reasons. A, to show that Kono does, in fact, run on grass. He still hasn't won on grass, <clears throat> and it's not his best distance, but he has run okay. Secondly, Ward and Jerry is also in this field. And he's ridden by Flavian Pratt. And this race has all kinds of speed signed up. And you know that Ward and Jerry will be rolling late. The problem with Ward and Jerry, who became a graded stakes winner last time out, is he does not, he just barely getting warmed up at one mile. He wants to go a mile and a half. He wants to go farther, actually. So Ward and Jerry, he's compromised by the distance, but certainly not by the pace. He'll be rolling late along with Prince Earl when all is said and done at a mile on grass, coming in off a layoff, 
Prince Earl, if you ask me, he is one of the most probable winners Saturday at Santa Anita. It's the race number seven, the Crystal Water Stakes, and it goes through Prince Earl.